In our top story tonight, Singapore is undergoing a major transition. But amidst this change, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says the government's goal remains constant, and that is to improve the lives of Singaporeans. In his annual May Day message, Mr Lee also called on Singaporeans to honour the pioneer generation of unionists by building on their achievements. Labor Day for Singapore this year comes against the backdrop of a country in transition. Economic restructuring means slower growth. But Prime Minister Lee Sin Lung says wages and household incomes have risen broadly. The government is also strengthening social safety nets through reforms such as MediShield Life, a universal national medical insurance scheme and permanent GST vouchers to offset daily expenses. To improve the lives of Singaporeans, Mr Lee said an important strategy is to develop better workers and create better jobs. That's the only sustainable way, he said, to raise wages. He said the government is already investing heavily in continuous education and training, building two new training institutes. This year's budget also saw further incentives to help companies raise productivity. But Mr Lee stressed that it's a collective responsibility. Workers, he said, must make the effort to train and upgrade themselves. Employers must invest in workers, develop their skills and make full use of their talents. Only then, said Mr Lee, will the government's programs bear fruit. The Prime Minister also paid tribute to Singapore's pioneer generation who helped build the country. He said in the unions, many pioneers fought the communists and worked with the government to foster constructive labour relations to build a competitive economy. And he called on workers to honour these pioneers by building on their achievements. The message of transition is echoed in almost all made messages by the country's leadership and tripartite partners. The workers have been told to brace themselves for further changes, the result of economic restructuring. And companies have been warned that the labour market will remain tight and the only way out is for them to speed up on productivity and innovation.